Australian Regenerative Medicine Institute investigates the extraordinary capacity of other life forms and how this can be harnessed to develop new approaches to curing human diseases. It is one of the largest institutes of its kind in the world and the only institute in Australia specialising in regeneration and stem cells. Army studies regenerative medicine, which is this amazing science of trying to learn how we repair or replace damaged organs or tissues. This can occur as a result of an injury or a disease or any aspect of our lives such as old age where tissues wear out and need to be replaced. So it's a potential panacea, uh, a mechanism for curing and replacing many different tissues during disease. Within our cells we have all the DNA, all the information to make any cell. So all we have to do is reawaken that information within the cell, add the special factors that enable one tissue to become another, grow that in a dish and put that back in our body. That's the promise or the panacea of regenerative medicine, to be able to repair any tissue or any organ from any starting material. Our approach is to try and jump in at the very start of what we think is a, a growing and spectacular area of medicine and really show leadership in this area, grow our own talent, uh, invest in the young minds, provide infrastructure that's world class and really make it a youthful, energetic environment where innovation is the buzzword and we make the best of trying to take this new technology and push it and pull in any way we can to create new therapies. Every year, 1,000 Australians are diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. 50,000 Australians suffer a stroke. Currently, over 3.3 million Australians have arthritis. 4.2 million are affected by heart disease. One in 10 Australians over 65 have dementia. Research at Army is structured along four integrated discovery pipelines. Heart and muscle development and regeneration. Immunity and regeneration. Stem cells and regeneration. Neural regeneration. I'm group leader of the Bourne Group at the Australian Regenerative Medicine Institute and I focus on neurobiology, understanding the mechanisms of how the brain develops and how this contributes to brain disorders and diseases. So stroke is the second leading cause of death and disablement in Australia, yet there's no treatment essentially to protect the brain. All that's available is a drug that you need to administer within three hours that unblocks the clock. We're looking to find that therapeutic that can protect the brain cells and enable a person to essentially get up and walk out of hospital again. What we hope to find is the cause for heart disease um, in babies that are born with heart defect. So we're using computer programming to predict in our DNA which changes might cause heart disease. My research field is quite unique because it combines computing and biology. It's quite challenging because you need to have a background in both fields. So it's called bioinformatics. So I really encourage students to tackle multidisciplinary field because this is the future. Being able to com uh, combine um, big data analysis and biology. Once we've had a suspicion using our computer programs that certain changes in our DNA might cause heart disease, what we do is we use fish to validate our experiments. Because fish hearts are very similar to human heart, except that they are outside, so you can basically just look down the microscope and find changes that are triggered by uh, uh, the changes in the DNA. I'm the leader of the Martino group and basically we try to understand why we cannot regenerate most of our tissues. And we believe that it's because the immune system is very important in the healing process. So basically we have shown that we can promote regeneration just by modulating the immune system. For example, we can close chronic wounds in diabetic models, or we can even uh, regenerate very large bone defects that cannot regenerate normally. Army has developed industry and research partnerships locally and across the globe, creating opportunities for exchange of faculty, postgraduate students and research staff. In a very few years, Army has become one of the largest regenerative medicine research institutes in the world, and it is the only regenerative research institute in Australia. So I think we've been off to a pretty good start, but we have the opportunity, I think, to double the Research Institute over the next five to ten years. An opportunity to add more researchers, to go into more research in greater depth, and I think that's a great opportunity for us. And Army is a magnificent centre. We've seen it 
grow over the years, got fantastic people um, leading in many areas of research and publication around the world. And it's, it's this drive uh, to come up with um, new solutions, um, new regenerative medicine solutions, which may well provide the answer to many of the big disease challenges that we've got in Australia and across the world. More investment really means more young bright minds working on, on these incredible problems, being able to use this new technology and this new approach in ways we never dreamed of, curing diseases we've never ever dreamt of being able to try and tackle before, and really trying to push the envelope on how regenerative medicine can be used to treat the human condition and the things that ail us.